In this tutorial, we'll be creating this glowing eyes effect using After Effects. Starting off with this clip here that I went ahead and trimmed down. And we're gonna start off with tracking the eyes here. Now there's a few ways you can do this, it's really depending on your shot and the amount of detail you've got. So for example here, I've got a bit of a autofocus situation, so it's gonna be pretty difficult to track. But nonetheless, you can go ahead and create a mask shape like so, around the eyes. And by going to the tracker here, you can track forward and it should track the mask pretty well depending on your shot. Now another way you can do this is using Mocha, which I prefer because it does seem to be more accurate at times. So let me go ahead and show you how we do that. Let's go and add Mocha to this layer and let's go inside Mocha. And in here by holding down Z you can go ahead and zoom into your shot. Okay, let's go ahead and select the pen tool and create some masks around the eyes area. Now let's hit track forward and see what we've got. Okay, so this is pretty decent, but as you can see, we got the tracking going off here a bit, so we can go ahead and manually adjust this on the last frame. You can see it's working pretty well and it's covering most of the eye area. You can always go in and manually adjust a few of these. Now let's go ahead and track backwards here. And usually a problem will occur when the eyes are opening, so let's see. Okay, I'm gonna pause this here. As you can see, we're getting the tracking here a bit off course. And basically, like we've done at the end of the clip, we're going to do all the way through the beginning here, just adjusting it. And obviously, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so this took about two minutes. So let's see what we've got here. As you can see, a pretty decent mask tracking along the eyes here. And we're done in Mocha. Let's go ahead and hit Ctrl S to save this and go back into After Effects. Okay, so once the tracking in Mocha is complete, let's go ahead and start adding the effects. Let's rename this layer to Tracking, and we can go ahead and hide it. And let's duplicate it and call this Base. And duplicate it one more time and call this Mask. On the Mask layer, let's go into Mocha and under Matte, select Create AE Masks. And we can go ahead and delete Mocha now. And what that does, as you can see, is import the mask we just created with the tracking data applied. Let's hit F for Feather and feather out these masks by a bit, maybe 10. Let's add a fill effect to this layer. And here you basically select the color of your glow. So let's go with something yellowish. And we can go ahead and pre-compose this layer and we'll call this glow. Let's hide it for now. And on our base layer, let's go ahead and delete Mocha as well. So this is basically the base layer which we're gonna be adding the glows and effects to it. Let's select our glow layer and add a bit of opacity at the beginning. So maybe starting from here, We'll just create a few keyframes of it turning on yellow, maybe a bit sooner here. Okay, now let's start adding our glow. If you've got deep glow, that is amazing. Go ahead and use it, it's gonna look great on it. But if you don't, I'm gonna show you how you can sort of replicate it with using the default glow which comes in After Effects. So let's go ahead and add the glow here. On the first layer, let's set the threshold to about 55 and the radius, let's up it to about 60. Lower the intensity to about 0.5, and let's duplicate it. Now on our second glow, let's change this to about 40, and this to 200, and we can up the intensity by a bit, maybe 1.2 here, and duplicate it one more time. On our third glow, we're gonna set the threshold to 50 and up the radius by maybe 250. And we can go ahead and lower the intensity here to 0.5. Okay, let's close these down. And another thing I like to add is a tint effect. Maybe about 30. This is all depending on you and how you want this to glow. And lastly, let's change this layer to additive. And we can actually lower the opacity to maybe 80. Okay, so this is what we've got. As you can see, we still remain some of the details in the eyes, which is what we want. Uh, unless you don't, so you can go ahead and set it to 100. But I kind of like to keep the details so it's a little more interesting. Let's go ahead and alt-click our stopwatch here. And let's type in wiggle. And set this to 1, comma, maybe 20. And we're just going to have a bit of a flicker in our glow. So it isn't just one continuous layer. Let's duplicate this layer. And we're going to get rid of these effects. And let's isolate it for now. Now we're going to add an effect called CC Radial Fast Blur. And if we move the center point a bit to the left and set this to maybe 90. 
or in even 95, you can see we get these nice rays and we can maybe position it like so. Let's bring it into the main comp and as you can see, we can set these rays here and even animate them if we want to. And if you want to make it longer, you just set this to 98. And let's keep the wiggle effect here, but not on this opacity layer. So let's alt click this to disable the expression and go into our amount here and alt click this. And let's type in wiggle five comma two. And we basically get these, you know, kind of effects. Maybe this is too aggressive. So we can keep this at two and maybe this one at three. Again, you can go ahead and play with this as much as you want. You can even go ahead and set the keyframe for the center point and maybe animate it to go up like so. Now, the cool thing about using Mocha is we still have some tracking data from the eyes. So let's make a new null object and go back to our tracking layer here and under tracking data, create masks. And this is our left and right eyes here. So let's select one of them. And under export options, let's select transform and choose our null object and hit apply. So basically we've got the tracking data of this eye here transferred to this null. Uh, maybe the rotation and scale we can go ahead and disable. We just want the position. So if you want to add some textures or maybe an overlay, like if we create a solid and we'll call this fractal, let's add a fractal noise to it. Change this to dynamic maybe something like so. And we can go ahead and parent this to the null object. And let's create a shape around the eye here. And maybe here. Let's feather these out. And let's change this to color burn. And maybe drop this under the glow layers. And let's lower the opacity to 50. And feather the masks even further. Let's make it appear about here. So if you want to add some additional effect to your eyes, this is how you can do this. You can also use some different textures and stuff. But this is how you create glowing eyes in After Effects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.